Okay guys, we're back to it. Part four, Dr. Steve Hunter's Paleo Expeditions Triceratops. And we've been excavating the, first pre the three previous parts of this, of this uh, video documentary. We have been excavating uh, tricer Triceratops. And here's the kit, here's the kit. Dr. Steve Hunters, Paleo Expeditions, tricer Triceratops. There's the inside of it, for gypsum brick, comes in, great big brick, comes in here, that's right here. There's the back of it, shows you the materials that you get, and states right here on the side that it's hand painted. And it tells you here that Dr. Steve Hunter is the creator of Edu products. No, Stefano Pacini. Uh, Stefano Pacini, and it comes with it. Comes with a comes with stickers. Comes with a really cool comic, and I think the coolest poster. It's got a comic on here. It's got a coloring section on the back of it. It's got information on the Triceratops, and it's got a poster here that just is is priceless. It's got a poster here, at, uh, having a battle with a Tyrannosaurus Rex that is just absolutely amazing so really really cool stuff uh, we've been going through this this gypsum brick here with this triceratops in it we've been excavating this guy it hasn't taken me long to do it it's only taken I'm guessing 15 20 minutes to get this far to get this far through the through the this skeleton to get this this actually to get excuse me to get through this this gypsum brick to, to expose this triceratops skeleton so far we've gotten his two front hands, the right part of his skull, and it looks like his tail. So let's get right into this. Let's uh, let's keep going and let's try to get this guy excavated from this. Let's get this guy excavated from this gypsum brick so we can put him together. It's got instructions on the inside of the box on how to put the skeleton together it just snaps together and so let's keep going we've got a hammer here we've got a chisel totally adequate to take this gypsum brick apart we've got a a a brush to kind of brush away and some of the the the, the dust away from the skeleton which is just coming right apart very i mean just amazing this is just this is just really incredible. This is this is really 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 neat. So I'm really in, I'm having a great time doing this, and I'll probably be, I may even put one of these stickers on my car. So let's uh, let's keep going. Wow, that piece came off. A lot of that that came off. There we go. And this gypsum brick comes, it's just, it's very easy to, with this chisel. The hammer could be a little bit more heavy, but not if you're, if you're, if you're really young, it's, it's, you know, it'll take you a lot longer to do it. And it's, it's adequate to do this, this gypsum's actually very, very, oops, and a lot of this just broke off. Just a major section of this just broke off here. So let's keep going. Getting a few people here. Yeah, they're showing up. This is really cool stuff. This will get a lot of a lot of attention. And people like dinosaurs. underneath him here but we've got a lot of this skeleton exposed we've got looks like his rib cage and maybe his hind feet back here another part to his rib cage the gypsum brick broke in half here so we've got him mostly out I mean this this brick was about this big so we've got him mostly out of here we've got this 80% done I think It 
does come with a knife on the back end of this hammer, but this knife, I, I haven't used it. I did it once. It does work very effectively. It'll go right through this gypsum, but I, I haven't been using it. I've been typically just been using the hammer and the chisel. There we go. There's another big piece came out. Oh yeah, we've got another. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of him. He's all in here. The rest of him's right in here. So we've got him, almost got him out of here. Let's see how much time we're at. We've almost got him out of here. Oh my goodness. And this this is like it's this gypsum is as consistent as as the stuff you put on your wall. It's kind of like that. It's a uh, It's very very soft. It's kind of like sheetrock. It is kind of like sheetrock. And it's breaking apart very good like rock. Okay, and I'm trying not to break any of him up. I don't want there we go. Wow, look at that, holy cow. Oh my goodness. We've got a triceratops in here. We found a triceratops skeleton for real. And this guy, we have almost got him out of this rock that he's been preserved in. And there's a big part, there's a big chunk, but there's some more, he's in there too. So there's more of him in there. Wow, pretty darn cool. And we got him, I think we got him. We've almost, this looks like right here, this is the other part of his head. Yeah, this is the other part of his head. And we've got his, two sections of his vertebrae, I guess, or his, uh, his rib cage. Okay, there's the other section that's the part of his head. And the rest is, looks like right here is, this is the main body. This is one part of his rib cage and this is the other part of his rib cage. And we are gonna get him out of here. Right, this is actually the bottom of the gypsum rock. Really, really cool. Wow. Really, really cool. Cool as all get out. There he is. There he is. We got him. We got him out. There he is. That's the skeleton. That's him. He's out of there. We have got him out of here, and I'm guessing it probably took 25 minutes to, 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 to hammer this gypsum brick apart. And so, there he is. There is the, the rest of the skeleton right there. And, uh, and there's a hand, there's another hand, there's the other part of his skull, and that should be our entire Triceratops. There's instructions on the inside of the box on how to put the skeleton together. And we're going to take a short break and come back for part five and we're going to finish putting excavating this triceratops and putting him together
So this is Dr. Steve Irwin's Paleo Expeditions Triceratops.